So Hilda Bachi, a Nigerian chef, has finally been awarded the Guinness Book of Records longest cooking marathon. This record was previously held by Lata Thondon in 2019 of going 87 hours and 45 minutes. A lot of people on social media have also expressed how proud they are of Hilda Bashi. Even some Ghanaians are even claiming she is ours and not a Nigerian. This goes by saying records are meant to be broken. What if I told you not all records are meant to be broken due to certain circumstances or reasons? Some Guinness Book of Records categories cannot just be replaced or be broken just because of some internal or external factors. In this short video, we are going to look at a few highlights of some of the Guinness Book of Records categories that cannot just be broken because they have been retired or they have just stopped or they will not even recognize you if you attempt to break that record. Now here are some Guinness Book of Records categories that you should not attempt because they are just not going to recognize you. The first is gluttony. So in 1990, the Guinness Book of Records just decided that they would not recognize anybody who attempts their category of gluttony. This is because over the years, those who have contested in that category don't have any form of eating disorder but just want to fill the amount worth of a lot of calories just because they want to be in the books. The last man to be in that category is called Edward Abraham Miller who consumed 25,000 worth of calories per day. He was born in 1909 and has competed and won every eating contest since 1922. The Guinness Book of Records just don't accept or will not recognize you if you contest in this activity because it is termed as unfettered or unrestrained gluttony. However, they still accept consumption records but it is still based on rate of consumption and it is limited to a short time frame. So maybe if you want to contest for the most ice cream consumed in 30 seconds, well you can go for it because they will recognize that but you just can't stuff your mouth with 25,000 worth of calories a day. They will just put it in the garbage somewhere. The second category is heaviest pets. Before this category was retired, people kept feeding their pet animals in an uncontrollable way. The last pet that had this record almost weighed half a 50 kilogram cement bag. But why would some people do that? You stuff an animal just because you want the animal to appear in the Guinness Book of Records? Well, that is very cruel. I'm glad they retired that category. However, there are still some animals that could be examined in this particular category in terms of weight, size and breed. So something like the largest horse or the largest elephant could be considered but not individual specimen. Driving around the world in itself can be dangerous but driving around the world at top speed, well, it's very very dangerous. But don't try ever doing that because the Guinness World Record are not going to recognize you. Bullfighting, fox hunting, elephant polo and camel wrestling have also been banned. Because you and I know it poses a threat to these animals which contributes to the ecosystem of the world. There is careful consideration in any record claim considering animals. So you might want to look at the guidelines what you should do and what you should not do when it comes to setting a record that involves an animal. Activities that pose a threat to our environment or contribute environmental hazard are also banned from the Guinness Book of Records. An example is the Kong Ming or the sky lanterns that are flown simultaneously. The current record consists of 15,185 sky lanterns that was flown simultaneously but it was banned in 2013 because it poses an environmental hazard to the world at large. If you intentionally want to stay awake or want to be buried alive, it is not considered. I mean, <laughs> who would want to do that? There are many other categories which have already been banned but these are the few that you should know in case you want to break any Guinness Book of Record. This is all I have for you. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share because I have a lot of content coming up your way. Until then, it's goodbye.